Hi everyone, and thanks for coming back to the channel. So the rig beside me, I've just recently switched over from the ASI Air to the Mealy Quarter 3. And there you can see the mini PC on the rig. Now this means that I'm now using Nina to control the rig. And as I literally only did it yesterday, I have not had a chance yet to learn how to use Nina. So I'm not gonna be using this rig tonight. Um, we've got a clear sky uh, tonight, all night. So what I'm gonna do is take this rig off and I am gonna put on my Ascar 400. It just so happens that the 400 is the right focal length for the target I've got in mind. The target I wanna to shoot tonight is the Rosette Nebula. Now I shot this about a year ago. I did a little collaboration with Glenn from Astro Blow and I was using my one shot color. So tonight I'm gonna to switch over the cameras. I'm gonna put this one on, which is the 2600 mono with the uh, Antlia filters in it. So I should put that on the Ascar and I'm gonna do an SHO on the uh, Rizzo Nebula. So I've got lots to do, it's getting dark now, so I better crack on with it. makes a change to have the Ascar on the mount in the observatory. It's normally outside on a portable setup, but uh, I've got the Ascar here as I'm still learning Nina, and I only just got the Mealy Quarter 3 mini PC put on the rig uh, yesterday. Sure, it's switched over to Nina, and I've just not had a chance to learn how to use it properly. I've still got a lot to learn, um, setting it all up and everything. And I didn't want to miss a clear sky tonight, so got the Ascar on this rig and uh, it's about to do a meridian flip. And then I'm going to run this till about midnight and then I'm changing targets. My main target that I really wanted to shoot isn't going to be high enough until just after midnight. And that target is going to be the Rosette Nebula and it fits nicely in the frame of 400 mil. As you can see, I've swapped the cameras over and I've got the mono set up on this rig. So I'm going to be doing SHO on the Rosette Nebula. I'm currently just killing time really on uh, Andromeda M31. I'm doing some RGB, so we'll see how that comes out. But I'm just waiting for the flip to happen and it's due to happen in about a minute. my filters are showing up as numbers they're numbered one seven they were labeled as lrgb um, s2 hn03 but since i've swapped the camera over um taken it off the esprit and put it on the scar with the fill wheel the filters are coming up as numbers so as long as i can remember which position the filter is in it shouldn't be a problem just gonna remember the number one is luminance and so on. Well, there's no point in me staying out here in the cold while I'm waiting for the clouds to go. So I'm gonna go in and get a coffee. So I'm gonna leave this all sitting as it is. Hopefully it won't rain in the meantime. Put the light out and uh, go in and get a coffee. Well, unfortunately, the clouds have not gone. So I'm closing the roof. So I'm sending the scope back to the home position and it's not gonna happen. Right, this is just typical. I came outside to put the rubbish in the bin. I need to find, it's a clear sky. So now I'm Scrabbing around trying to get ready. I just seen the weather forecast saying it was going to be cloudy, so I didn't think there's going to be imaging tonight, but uh, it is clear. So I'm going to quickly set up and uh, get this. 
is really ready and uh, get as many hours as I can. Who knows, it could be cloudy again in the next half an hour. It's looking good at the moment, so let's get this set up. Well, we are now guiding, and the guiding is pretty good. It's 0.35, so can't complain. I'm gonna hit start, and it will ask me to confirm. Yeah, confirm it will shut down, and now it will go into an autofocus routine. And there we go. So I can now let it do its thing, and hopefully it will start capturing data as soon as I've done this. Right, so we've got the first 10 minute sub of sulfur about to come in, and guidance not bad, it's down to 0.29. It's pretty good. So let's see what this first 10 minute sub looks like. So there's not a great deal of sulfur, but definitely something there. The stars are looking good anyway. Lovely and round, very nice. The HA should be impressive, but I've got another five of these sulfur to do first. And then there'll be 6HA followed by 603. Right, so the HA does look a lot better, as you can see. It's a lot more HA than there is S2. So this is the Wizard Nebula. And I know I said I was going to shoot the Rosette, but it's only now not quite half past 10. And it's still not going to be high enough for another couple of hours. So I'm doing this because this is pretty high. Um, and I'm basically just killing time waiting until I can get on the rosette. So yeah, this is looking nice. Just gotta wait for the oxygen to come in and uh, hopefully get an image out of it. I think we've got a little bit of high cloud actually. If you look, there's some halos around these bright stars. That's most likely gonna be a little bit of high cloud. That's diffusing everything. And the stars don't look quite as sharp. So that would definitely indicate there's a little bit of high cloud. Unfortunately, the humidity is very high. Everything in here is soaking wet. You can't see it unless I put a light on, which I don't want to do because I'm imaging, but trust me when I say everything is wet to touch. There you can see, look at this on the walls, look. Look at the walls. Look at that. Everywhere is just soaked. The humidity is so high. <laughs> It's a little bit worrying because uh, even on top of the motor, yeah. I mean, look at my hands. This just water dripping off everything. Yeah, this is not so good. Well, I've made a bit of a mistake here. You can see the uh, dark patch in the middle of this. That is actually the sensor on my camera has fogged over. And that is because I forgot switch on and you do so i'm surprised it's taken this long but i'm now gonna have to stop everything close the roof and let this uh, fog disappear off the sensor because that is just no good at all that is a uh, 03 well, it was an 03 but yeah not good at all i'm afraid yeah i completely forgot to turn on anti do and this is what happens camera sensor has fogged over and this is the result. So, note to self, remember to switch on anti do. So I'm actually gonna stop this now, and I'm gonna send the scope back to the home position, and turn it all off. That's the end of that imaging session. Finished early, it's my own fault. I was worried about the dew anyway, so I'm just shutting up early. The scope and everything don't feel too bad. Yeah, the dew heaters are on. Just not the dew heater on the camera. That's a shame. Let's close the roof. And sure enough, you see a little patch in the middle there? There. That's the fog on the sensor. Well, I think it's not on the sensor, it's on the um, little glass screen in front, the IR cut filter, that's where it is. Pretty sure it's not on the actual sensor. So that will hopefully dry out soon and hopefully should be okay.
Right, so we've got a clear sky tonight. I've literally just come in from work. The sky's clear, so I'm um, getting this set up right quick. And the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure the anti-do is switched on on my camera. Because all those subs I got the other night, I've had to waste them all, I'm afraid. Uh, there's no usable subs out of that lot, unfortunately. So um, basically, I'm starting again. Anyway, I've learned my lesson, and uh, I will be remembering to switch on that camera and you do from now on. Right, this is night four. Let's see if things are going to go right tonight. Looks like it's going to be a clear sky. Certainly clear at the moment, but this happened the other night. So there's a very bright moon up there. Anyway, let's get this rig up and running. So at this rate, I might not even get onto the Reset Nebula. So I might just try and finish at least one image and I'm currently on the wizard. So maybe I'll just try and get that done. Right, so I've literally just started the first sub and I've got Meridian Flip in 27 minutes. So I'm going in anyway, it's two cold air, it's about minus one already. Um, I will catch the Meridian Flip on my security camera over there. And hopefully everything will be fine. this guiding tonight 0.19 and I think I've ever seen it that good well finally I'm capturing some decent data this is a 10 minute HA sub and there's no halos around these stars so that means no high cloud and I've got my anti do switched on on the camera so at last right we're on 12 of 21 so this, I'm doing seven of each filter so I've got two more HA to do, then I've got seven of um, O3 to do. But anyway, this is looking a lot more promising. Okay, so it's completed the session. It's done seven subs of each filter, and that's 21 of 21. That's an O3. Again, there's not that much O3 there, but there is definitely something. Hopefully I can get an image out of that. We will see. So as you can see, it's not always easy and things often do go wrong. It took me four attempts to get some data on the wizard and I did manage to get about three hours, just over three hours and a couple of hours on Andromeda in between sessions. So I've decided I'm gonna leave the Rosette Nebula for a little while. I'm gonna wait until it's a bit higher in the sky. It doesn't get high enough for me here till gone midnight really. And I don't want to set the rig going and then go to bed and leave it running all night, leaving the roof open because the weather has been quite unpredictable lately. I mean, it, it looked like it was going to rain the other night when I had the roof open. So I quickly shut the roof and within five minutes it was actually raining. So it's a good job we saw that coming. Uh, otherwise I would have had a soaking wet rig. I don't really want to risk that. So if I leave it until later, then I'll be able to start shooting it much earlier and still get a decent amount of hours so I can shut it all down before I go to bed. So you've had a little insight into the life of an amateur astrophotographer. And as you can see, it's not always plain sailing, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, and I hope you like the images at the end. So if you'd like to follow my astro adventures, such as they are at the moment, then please uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, tick the little bell, and a big thanks to all of my existing subscribers. I hope you liked the video and I hope you like the images. And as always, I wish you all clear skies.